Uh, I'm going to be unoriginal and say the thing. Um, just because I find it perfect in every way. The atmosphere, the acting, and obviously the uh, practical effects, which uh, actually started off my love for practical effects in general, which uh, I'd like to think we've taken a little bit of uh, inspiration from, for sure. I think a lot of my favourite horror films are um, from Japan, Korea, Thailand, that kind of way. So I'd probably say uh, the Japanese version of The Grudge, the first one, is one of my favourite horror films, Matt agree with me on this but I find that kind of stuff uh, really scary but then I also absolutely adore you know universal monster movies Bride of Frankenstein things like that I love a lot of modern stuff um, but also a lot of the classics as well so it's really hard to answer I don't think I have a favorite but I have favorites within different categories for the uh, part of he the co-star of uh, Fiona we had a lot of actors send in video auditions. We uh, wrote a kind of additional scene, as it were, of what we wanted um, from them. Because of logistics, because we live separately and we don't live in London, we didn't hold casting sessions as such. We did it all over video auditions and Skype and that kind of thing, which I was nervous about, but it actually worked okay. Yeah, we thought we might struggle um, with auditioning people via video because it's such a physical role. And we, we didn't think that we'd be able to get that, mm. you know, the impression of what they'd be capable of via a video. Yeah. And, and in all fairness, the, the quality of the audition videos that we got ranged quite a lot. We, uh, we had um, some rather amusing ones, as well as the very serious, uh, gritty act ones. But that just made the whole uh, process quite fun. And, yeah, but when we saw... Phillips audition tape. Um, th there were that, there were other people that we considered for the part, but it was hard. Yeah, please. yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, it, it was a difficult decision, but I think it was just as much about his attitude to the project, um, because his audition video was great, but he also seemed to understand the script and what we wanted to do with it and what our ideas were more than the other actors, I would say. And that was so important to us, to have someone that was that, that got what we wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, that definitely factored into our decision that when he um, we sent him our script and he replied, we both just knew he, he understands it. He, yeah. he completely gets it, and that definitely factored into why we chose him. Yeah, I think it's so important for this project. I mean, we did get some actors who were, seemed really up for it, and then when they read the whole script... Uh, they were like, oh Got no, this is, this is too much for me, you know, I don't, I don't agree with this, or I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with this, and that's fair enough, we, we were open to getting those kind of responses, but uh, right from the start, Philip kind of was on the same page as us, and agreed with us on a lot of the content, and understood what we wanted to do, so that was a deciding factor as well, but his, his audition tape was brilliant as well, I Definitely. think... Um, he, yeah, he definitely has the right presence for the character, so we're looking forward to seeing that. It's uh, kind of funny. While it was a tough decision to choose between the final group of actors, I st I, now I can't think of anyone else in the role, just like I can't with Fiona. Hmm. That's a good thing. Yeah. In terms of expectations, what, what we'd both like, and we have discussed this, we both want to send it off to as many festivals as possible. We'd love to get it uh, screened at somewhere like Fright Fest or Grim Fest or even, you know, perhaps festivals abroad as well. Uh, not necessarily just horror or genre film festivals. I think there's a lot in it which would give it wider appeal than just horror fans. Um, there'd, there'd be a lot of other festivals that might hopefully be interested in it. Um, and, you know, for a short film, that that's, you know, pretty much... The, the most that you, that you can hope for if anything happens on the back of that in terms of us and, and our careers and getting other off offers and things like that, that's great but I just want uh, people to see it I want it to get, I'm all about seeing films in the cinema on the big screen so um, my ultimate kind of goal for she personally is to get it screened somewhere with an audience on a big screen, that would be fantastic. I don't want people to watch it and know that this is someone's first film I don't want it to seem amateur in any way and I think you know with the cast and crew that we have on board you know I think we, we definitely could do something special with it. 
Um, I think it's just me as a person. I gravitate towards horror. Um, I've tried writing other scripts. Um, actually, I have about 20 in storage for the future, and uh, 18 of them are horror. No, one of them's a heist movie. <laughs> But I, I, I just find it impossible not to write something either horrific or horror. And I just, just what I see myself doing, I'm not entirely sure why. Horror's probably one of the most fun genres to work in. I mean, um, I've worked in various roles on other films, features and shots, and... You know, it's always been the horror films that are just, are just so much fun, you know, getting to see the whole makeup process and watching people run around screaming or, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I, I just think, and I, I love the genre so much, I don't know if I necessarily want to, um, you know, stay within horror throughout whatever career I end up having, but I do think that it will always be my, my primary kind of thing. It will always be my passion and... Uh, I just I enjoy it more than anything else as an audience as well, um, and I think that's important. You've got to make something that you would you would be you would want to see and you would be passionate about seeing, or there's no point putting all your time and effort into it. So, I think for me, I think one of the things that really draws me to horror is that I like that it explores the darker side of us. I like that it can be offensive to some people or shocking to some people because I think. Perhaps people need to be offended and perhaps people need to be shocked and perhaps people need to see that we've all got that part of ourselves. I don't care what anybody says. I think we've, we've all got that darkness in us and horror kind of brings that to the surface and exposes it. And, um, you know, it doesn't mean we have to embrace it and all go out and kill people or anything. <laughs> but we have to acknowledge that it's there and we have to, um, you know, respond. And to do that through horror is the best way. I and I think as a genre, it... Uh, inspires the most discussion, which is mm. always a good thing. I think uh, we discussed this earlier that our our short will definitely inspire a lot of debate and discussion, yeah. Yeah. which is you know what we want. <laughs>